Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. Last video we worked with the uh, get, where is it? I just made it somewhere here. Uh, equip item, right here. Equip item, we just made this function, so go ahead and check the last video out. And now we're going to try to use that. So as we go into character, we go into initialize. Uh, or we go into the loaded character I think because we load the character we don't initialize the character and then I'm gonna do this mm. where is it now uh, this inventory dot add item let's add item Weapon. I should have kept the ones from before. I don't know why I didn't. <sighs> Let's see. Int rarity. Okay, so level one rarity. Freaking rarity random between five, like before. So we'll make a bunch of weapons. We'll make a bunch of items basically. And then say armor. 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 A few armors. And how did the armor random thing do? I think it randomized the type as well. This type, random 4. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's good. Uh, let's see. Type. Now, I want to do something in armor that hasn't been done, really. I have type. Let's say std uh, string type str type string uh, let's say if or switch this type case head this uh, type str equals head break and that's what I'm gonna do a bunch of these for these uh, case default type str error invalid break 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 head chest arms then we don't have to do this every time. We just do it once and we'll have a string chest arms legs. So we'll have a, a string that helps us with this. And uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. And as we print the armor, as we get it rarity level type, this type str. Let's do the type str thing instead and then we'll run this program and we'll see see what kind of cool results we get now shouldn't be too too many errors all right cool so I loaded my stuff I'm gonna show inventory I have legs just this is kind of confusing with all the like you know all the things like this but we'll have to fix that. Rarity one, head level three, def three. Okay, that's cool. All right, so now we just want to be able to press show inventory, and then as we show it, we want to get more input. We want to be able to do more input. So uh, number six, let's go into character. Uh, let's keep those. Okay, get inventory a string. I want to go into my game cpp and game.h and put them all the way here. And init game, that's good. Select character, load character, level up character, travel, rest, inventory, equip. Let's call it select character. Let's say level up character, void inventory equip 
inventory equip let's call it that it's beneath level up character and then game now as we go into main menu I want to steal this little thing here uh, check character sheet and then this inventory take that and then this inventory equip let's make it a little cleaner well actually I want it to be a void character menu character menu actually want that then I want to do this character menu and uh, yeah I actually want to remove this whole thing I want to remove that whole thing so we're gonna work with that actually like I said in the last video I'm gonna remove this seven eight nine I'm sorry for doing this to you guys nine I'm really sorry we didn't have to do this create new character sheet okay we'll say character sheet we'll go in there at five it'll open character menu uh, character menu we'll remove this six seven eight nine okay that wasn't too bad and then we'll close this we'll say character menu and I'll just paste this here I'll control that out and save that and then we'll make the character menu uh, remove inventory I guess we can remove inventory equip or whatever we'll keep it for now void game character menu and then we'll just say this and first we'll print out characters active characters print stats and then we'll say see out character menu new line new line like this we'll print the stats and then we'll say see out inventory equip zero equals inventory equip new line and then what else could you do in the character sheet well you could well it was up here right I think it was a main menu here level up available is shown okay uh, if I go into five I think it let me I think I did it in here I think I did it in here show print stats right here so no it wasn't here it wasn't here where the hell did I do it level up nope add to stat all right, we're going to have to try this and then say level up available. Let's do three level up. Okay, zero. Oh, that's where it let me increase my strength. And then if I press five. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Zero. Let's quit. So that's cool. All right, so it was in level up where we we did the well in in game pretty sure as we leveled up yeah level up character that's where I set that but that's okay everything's fine level up rest character sheet character menu so all we have to do is to work on this so I print the stats and this is where switch this choice choice case zero 
break and then default break. So we can have a little mini menu in here. All right, we have a little mini menu. And then as we print it out, I want to do other stuff. I want to make more input. Mm. Print. This is just to print. Zero print inventory. New line. See out one. And then you can equip item just like that so let's do one um, every time you do the choice all right that's good that's good And while this choice is not greater than zero, we'll have a little mini loop of all this. Wait, why did that happen? That's weird. That is weird. Well, and we'll say here, see out menu. Make a little menu, new line, and then just say one new line, print inventory, equip item. Mm. Let's do this. This. Okay, let's say do. And then here, while should screen than zero, just like that. And that's because uh, I want to come in here no matter what choice is, and then I want to change choice depending on this. So, sin this choice right like that. See how. Choice like that. Let's make a new line, uh, and then we're gonna do the error check. So I'm gonna copy the error check, error check from main menu, per usual, and copy the system CLS thing as well. In character, oh, in game, go in here. I'm actually gonna do that. So at the end, so I don't, probably don't want to do system CLS at once. Okay, no, that's cool. Let's just do it up here. That's good. And then you do the whole thing again. So let me copy that whole sin fail thing do this go in here while sin fail faulty input clear ignore choice this choice um, let me do this see out new line and then to make it clear see out choice So every time it's in fails, I'm going to do this. And then the ignore. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so that's cool. Let's try to run this now. And see if, if I can get something cool out of this. Okay, something weird happened. I don't know why. Oh, okay. What the hell? All right, the, pff, whatever. Uh, let's say five character sheet. 
oh okay that's why uh, then print inventory is probably one and then equip item would be two okay then zero would get me back right so zero actually is back two and then see how zero equals back and then a little new line right there all right so we'll do that how long is the video 15 minutes okay i gotta i gotta end this but let me just do this case one case two break default does nothing that's the thing that goes out uh it goes in as a system cls and a sin get that I don't like. I don't like that. It should just go in like this, and then at the end, at the end of the while loop, and then I'll do the system CLS at the top. So there we go. All right, let's see. Now it's gonna run like a weirdo. Okay, now that worked. So five. That worked nicely. Character menu, menu. Uh, and then that's weird. Just like that. Choice, thank you. Five. All right, so cool. So one is print inventory, two would be that, zero would just get me back. And perfect. All right, now I had to do enter to continue twice. Um, we could do a little easy hack fix for that uh, if this choice is greater than zero then we'll do this if it's not we'll just go back boom that's easy now character menu is fine it's just that we have to print we have to kind of copy this in here as well uh, the error choice or the first choice actually like that and then also oh, so it prints stats it's gonna print the inventory print the inventory and then let us uh, this or my game okay Characters at position this active characters dot equip item and then we'll do whatever. We'll we'll do an input on that. But thanks for watching guys and girls. This video is a little too long. I'll continue with this in the next one, alright? But thanks again. Take care, keep learning. I love all of you. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you in the next one, alright? Bye bye.